Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. How about Rafa Nadal's performance in the French Open final? Nadal demolished Novak Djokovic and captured his 13th French Open crown and matched Roger Federer's record of 20 Grand Slam titles. So now Rafa and Roger stand shoulder to shoulder as Grand Slam kings. Clearly a final verdict on the greatest of all time can't be made until each of the big three has retired, but today we're going to make the case for Rafa as the GOAT for now. Starting with the gold standard. Rafa holds an important record that neither Roger nor Novak has matched, and that's the career Golden Slam, which is to win all four Grand Slam titles plus the Olympic gold medal in singles. Nadal, Steffi Graf, Serena, and Andre Agassi are the only four champions who can brag about that, and Steffi Graf actually stands alone as the only player who did it all in a single season back in 1988. Also, remember at the Rio Olympics in 2016, Rafa with his buddy Mark Lopez also won the Olympic gold in doubles. Next up, Rafa's staying power. Now, Rafa has suffered more injuries than Roger or Novak, but he's also shown some remarkable resilience. Nadal's 2020 Roland Garros triumph comes more than 15 years after he captured his first major at the 2005 French Open. That 15-year span is a men's record for the largest gap between first and most recent majors, and it's second in history to Serena Williams, who won slams 17 years apart. And based on Rafa's powerful performance in Paris, you have to think he's got a couple more majors in him. At number three, Rafa is a complete player. Now, early in his career, Rafa was often typecast as a defensive grinder. The truth is, though, Nadal is an all-court player and a phenomenal doubles player who's captured 11 career doubles titles with six different partners. In fact, Rafa owns more double titles than Novak and Roger combined. And while you can argue that doubles play is irrelevant to a singles GOAT debate, we're going to disagree, and here's why. Doubles play has clearly made Rafa a more complete player. Remember, in the 2019 U.S. Open final, he attacked the net relentlessly, defeating Daniel Medvedev. And he showed his superior net skills deconstructing Djokovic in Paris. Given most recreational players play doubles rather than singles, Rafa's doubles prowess should be factored into his overall body of work, and it makes him a great ambassador for our sport because he excels in all phases of the game. Number two, Rafa's dominance. Overwhelming Novak in the French Open final, Rafa made open era history as the only player ever to win 13 singles titles at the same tour level event. In a congratulatory tweet, Roger praised Rafa for one of the greatest achievements in sport. Rafa also raised his Roland Garros record to 102, with an astounding 81 of those wins coming in straight sets. In fact, Rafa made open era history as the only man to win four slams titles without ever surrendering a set. Nadal has now won six Grand Slam titles since celebrating his 30th birthday. That's the men's record for most post-30 slam titles, and it shows that Rafa may have more left in the tank. If you doubt that, consider this. Nadal has won six of the last seven Grand Slam finals and joins Novak as just the second man to win major titles in three different decades. And topping our list of why Rafa is the GOAT is Rafa's rivalry record. To be the best of all time, you have to be the best of your time. And the numbers just don't lie. Rafa has topped Roger in 24 of their 40 meetings. True, Novak holds a narrow 29 to 27 head to head over Rafa, but Rafa has been better in the major matches. Nadal has won 10 of his 16 Grand Slam meetings with Djokovic, including winning five of their nine matches in major finals. That combined with Rafa defeating Roger in six of their nine Grand Slam finals, Rafa, at least at this point, is the best big match player of the big three. So for these reasons, we say Rafa is the GOAT for now, but clearly the race isn't over. Where do you stand on this great debate? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.